this is the first time washing it with shampoo. So you can definitely tell I've got more brown coming back. But overall, <laughs> my hair is still darker than it was. But there's definitely more of a brown tone to it, I think. Um, but I've still got blue. Most of it came off my scalp. <laughs> um, but it is still staining a little bit. Um, like it's... If it's wet, because this was air dried and slept on. So, um, that's why it looks the way it does, but this is what it looks like in this lighting, artificial light. This is an indoor lighting, but like with the natural light coming through the window. I don't feel it looks as brown in this light. I could be wrong. This is what it looks like in the sunlight. It is cloudy today though. I usually don't wash my hair except for like once or twice a week. I think this time is probably like once a week, like it's been a week basically. You definitely can smell the mint like over the shampoo when you come out of the shower <laughs> and you do have that smell for a while. Um, my fingernails aren't bad right now, but they are tinted slightly blue in some places. Um, it wasn't until the shower that it stopped being that way, but it's like a very small tint. Um, almost looks more like a purple tint. Um, but along the edges you can kind of see. So when I put my hands through my hair a lot or mess with my scalp, which is something I do a lot, um, it does do that. And there is a slight tinting of my pillowcase because this time I went, with, went to bed with it slightly damp in some places. Um, however, it didn't just come off in like total color blobs like it did um, before shampooing. So this is the second time I have washed with the actual shampoo. As you can probably tell, a lot of the brown is definitely just brown now. <laughs> so that took, what, by the second wash, I'm pretty sure most of my, at least my top hair, is primarily brown rather than that darker blacky blue kind of color. Um, I do think it's still a little bit darker at the ends, but that might just be due to the highlights that turn blue. This top part is definitely a lot lighter. This particular piece was practically white though when it was uh, first bleached for highlights at the salon. So this particular highlight had previously been almost white to a very light purple due to the toner. I was actually supposed to have purple. Uh, so she just like used a lot of toner on it and I guess was fine with that. But um, this is kind of what the blue is looking like. It's definitely lightened up quite a bit in many areas. Uh, some of the places that were a little more yellowy toned definitely are trying to grab more of a green blue so like this part right here which i think that's that <laughs> i think it's the same piece right there but yeah i think it's definitely a lighter blue and i'm actually really happy with how that's turning out because the blacker looking darker color at the beginning with that darker blue definitely goes better together and i still think in general my hair is still darker than it was. Um, this time I didn't wait an entire week to wash my hair, so it's probably about a half a week. Okay, so this is what we look like inside. I have a window that's like right here with the direct the direct letting it natural light in i don't like uh i don't know i feel like 
The first application was so nice with like how it left my hair. So I'm not liking having just the shampoo and stuff and I also let it dry overnight which also is irritating me with how it kind of come out. With like you see that it almost looks like it's still wet even though it's not. <laughs> it's annoying. Welcome to the, I think, third shampoo. I think it's been a week since my last hair wash. Looks like we're getting some of my white blonde back. That kind of happened. There were some specific pieces that were like super blonde, but it's like a silvery kind of thing going on. Still really like it. Really like how this is fading, because now it's more like a silvery blue lighter blue still going on kind of mixture it toned a little bit of my hair i think <laughs> i'm not sure definitely had it coming out uh, again blue in the shower and like blue lather but uh so far again like the last round and this round no staining on things or my uh, fingernails and I don't I don't smell either <laughs> either my shampoo or the mint so and it also is probably likely because my um, shampoo isn't super strong smelling I don't think and this is inside of course, with the natural light coming through the window. Don't mind the rest of my house. Uh, <laughs> I was just trying to find a way to do this where I could show you better. Today is one of those shifting light kind of days. Uh, so the place that I'm at right now is kind of shaded. It looks like it's about to get bright in a certain spot, but I'm not going to try to chase the sun like I did the other time. <laughs> Today is April 24th, Saturday. Um, I actually washed my hair, shampooed my hair yesterday, but uh, it was nighttime and I wouldn't have gotten any of the daytime stuff that I've been trying to do. So yeah, don't mind me. I just attacked like all the zits on my face, so it's really red. <clears throat> Between pimple patches and <laughs> some other stuff. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, here is the blue. Here's what I'm thinking happened too. I took for freaking ever on the bottom. Not only is this very blonde, but it was like the more yellowy blonde. Um, so I think for both of those reasons, it's darker than the ones up here. Because the ones up here are more of a silver now, like a bluey silver, silvery blue. I don't know the difference. Um, but this had less time and it was also a lot brighter. So I'm wondering if that also meant it wasn't going to take hold as much because of how blonde it was and it was just like too open. Or just like I said, it just, <laughs> it didn't have enough time to really uh, do what it needed to do. So if I did this another time, I would probably leave it on my whole head longer, like as long as the max processing, like maximum it's actually going to do anything time. That way every part of my hair <laughs> has the chance to grab as much blue as it can. That's just if I were to redo it. I might, I don't know if I have enough to redo it though. But yeah, we're definitely back to brown I feel like. Again, I didn't notice any blue, or sorry, this time I didn't notice any blue uh, down the drain. However, 
I do have a bit of a complication because I got sunburnt like really bad and um, I don't think you can tell but now I'm gonna show you uh, that my nose is peeling and I actually hurt my scalp too <laughs> so that was fun and so I didn't wanna I was very worried about my scalp and my skin so I wasn't really paying attention a whole lot when I was doing the shampoo part because I really didn't want to hurt my skin. Okay, this is with dim light coming through the window. I have to kind of hurry because we're running out of light because it is actually seven o'clock, almost eight o'clock. Thankfully, we're more towards the summer. So again, definitely looking more like silvery gray on the top most layers. And then we still got the vibrant blue at the bottom. This is outside with uh, post sunset light. As you might notice, there's definitely more of a silvery tone to the blue. Today is April 29th. This is whatever shampoo. <laughs> I did notice that like the suds on my hands did tint blue. I did pay attention this time. Um, I do think we're definitely on our way out. As you can see, like this one's trying to come back to its blonde. And these ones are just more like vibrant light colors. Um, we're absolutely back to brown. <laughs> and up here almost looks the same as it used to, except for this is more of a silver. Definitely more silver turning over here. Still got plenty of blue going on though. There are wasps around. Not excited about that at all. Gonna try to hurry then. It is May 5th, Cinco de Mayo, uh, I think, Kormo no Hi, uh, I don't know if it's Chichiniko-san or not. Either way, this is the morning after a shampoo from yesterday. We are definitely fading out. Um, these ones are probably trying to return to that more of a yellowy blonde that kind of happened there. Um, if you come up here, kind of see what's going on there. This is pretty much back to color for the most part up here. Um, with more silvery bluish tint to a slight effect, we had more blue tinted um, suds. Hello, it is Monday, May 10th. I washed my hair with shampoo on Saturday, I think late Saturday, May 8th. We are definitely on our way out here. And that's just because some of my blonde was like yellowy, but like not even that much. Um, I think we're pretty much back to blonde. Natural light. 
but indoors. <laughs> oh, my dog is mad because I just closed the door on her toy. Sorry, it's cloudy. It's not like as cloudy as it's been the last couple days though. So there's that. Today I believe is May, I wanna say like 17th or something. Um, I washed, shampooed my hair Saturday. Today is Monday. Um, we are working on getting the blue out of these and I'm really not sure <laughs> if they're actually gonna all the way come out, honestly, at this point. I know it's still fading, so it'll probably come out all the way, but as for like the t more top layers, like you see this one right here, doesn't really look blue. Some of them have a silver tint still. Um, but a lot of it's just kind of this soft light blue. Uh, some of them, still have also a little bit of a greeny-ishness to it that's just due to some parts of my hair being more of a yellow blonde than a not yellow blonde <laughs> but otherwise yeah that's pretty much where we're at So it has been probably four hair washes, not sure, shampoos, whatever, since I last recorded, because quite frankly, <laughs> this process is getting old. Um, I'm not even sure if this is actually going to completely come out <laughs> at this point. It's not meant to go, or this particular formula is not meant to go on the blonde. And it does definitely kind of come off looking a bit purplish toned. And I think that's just because it's got the kind of red tones in it to combat the brown. So that way it actually turns your brown hair blue. So you can see kind of how it's like a silvery color like silvery purple tint to it of some kind. <laughs> Other than that, my hair is almost back to normal. There are some places where it's holding on. What's interesting to me is how, <laughs> like you have a little bit of that bluish look and kind of a purple, and then it fades to blonde again, like the normal-ish looking blonde. So it's very fascinating. It's not like it's, it's never really turned an ugly color, so I'm glad for that. But it's, I don't know if it's ever gonna let go of my hair. <laughs> like, it might not without some help. Because uh, there are things you can do to help get color out of your hair. Again, it wasn't meant to go on blonde hair, it was meant to go on brown hair. <laughs> so yeah. It's too hot out here. My lens is fogging up, as you can tell. It's so bad. Uh, it's hot and humid and gross out here. I hate it. So this is going to be my last hair update because um, it's mostly out and it's been forever. So we're going to wrap it up on our fade report here. Um, as you might be able to see in this particular light, it looks pretty much gone. Um, 
Many people have asked me if I did silver in my hair, so it has definitely left a silver tone. As it was fading, I did definitely get like purple tones on the blonde especially. Um, and in some spaces it's a little bit tinted purple still, um, but mostly I'm being asked now about having dyed it silver in places um, under certain lighting. But otherwise it looks pretty much back to normal. This is with the natural light coming in from the window. Excuse my background. We are under construction right now. <laughs> Nala says hi. So as you can see, it kind of has a, a bit of a gray look to it. So a lot of people went from being like, oh, you went blue, to did you do purple, to did you do gray? <laughs> I keep telling them it's just fading. I can't see anything, so I don't know if y'all can see anything. <laughs> for going on this obnoxiously long trip, adventure, journey with me. Um, this is July, not July, <laughs> June 30th, 29th or 30th, I think it's the 30th. So we're almost in July, but keep in mind I only wash my hair about once a week. So if you wash your hair more frequently, it definitely will fade probably a lot faster. Um, I've been using definitely very hot water when washing. So, yeah, um, at most, at the end of all of this time, it's mostly just left kind of a silvery tone tint. See, this part looks a little bit purple, but it kind of almost looks like a silvery gray as well under certain lights. Um, so it kind of toned it a little bit. So if you have blonde spots like I do, that part will just take longer. Um, I was definitely tempted to color it again, <laughs> so I can definitely understand if you're like that, like you like to color your hair a lot. By the time this fades this far, I don't know, you might already be on to another color. But yeah, it's been out of my brown hair for quite a while, but if you're like me and you have highlights, that is how it's faded. Hopefully you've uh, enjoyed this video, hopefully it's been helpful for you. And if so, please leave a like and comment below because um, this, is <laughs> this has been a long time uh, recording my hair. And as you might have noticed, I've gone between quite a few washes without recording it just because there wasn't enough of a difference and also I couldn't be bothered every single time I washed my hair to turn on my camera. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this review. <laughs> And let me know if yours faded this fast or slowly, I guess really honestly, um, how yours is. If your hair is like mine, just feel free to share all the information below. And I'll see you whenever I post next. Bye.